And he's like, hey, Luffy, can you still fight? And he's like, yeah, boy, let's go. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I am back from Japan. I have returned with all of my Zaiho, my Goto. So today I'm going through all of the alternate arts in OP02. I'm gonna show them all to you guys. I just got two more piercings in my ear. I'm ready to Zoro out. And if this is you guys' first time here and you wanna see my ears when I have the real Zoro earrings, you can push that subscription button. Cause if you thought I stripped them with a lot of OP01 Japanese cards, I'm gonna be stripping OP01 English until my fingers bleed. You might think I'm joking by saying that, but I'm completely serious. My fingers did start bleeding from stripping OP01 Japanese. And that was nothing compared to what's about to happen for the English release. So make sure to smush that subscription button if you want to see an insane amount of openings. I'm going to show all the cards and you're going to get to see how beautiful these shiny cards are because OP02 foiling is like through the roof. They seriously sent it with this set. And the alt art leaders are amazing because they're all like sweaty. They're all dripping and crying and sweating. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show all the cards right now. Thank you so much. Let's check them out. All right, so I'm starting off here with the leaders. And of course, first off we have Edward Newgate. Now he's not crying in this picture, but you can tell that there's a tear coming at some point in time close. But no, seriously, look at this. Look at how amazing these the, the line work is on these. Now these aren't all that different from, from OP01 in terms of the way that they're printed, the composition of the cards and just the way they look in general. But I love that they use the faces of these characters just really, really big because this was what was manga. This was the original manga was a book of faces by Hokusai. So it's really cool to reference that in this cards. I think there's a lot of references to Japanese art history in the One Piece uh, card game overall. This was actually given to me as a gift by somebody in a card shop in Tokyo. So thank you very much for this amazing white beard gift. This is a really, really cool leader and I'm so grateful to have gotten it and received it as a, you know, special of my 6-6 six, six leader. So that's the white beard alt art leader. Next we have Crying Garp. Garp with the tear in his eye. This card is awesome as well. I love, I love that, that it's just so bold with the shading, like right on the front. You see all those lines for the shading that go across the leader face and the faces are just so animated. I mean, there's a book that I found that's just a book of faces, of One Piece faces. That's like the entirety of the story just told through faces. So I'm very excited about all of these faces. I don't know if I've, I've, I don't know if I've talked about how much I like these faces, but the Garp looks awesome. He is crying. He does have snot dripping out of his nose and he is sweating. So so just a lot of really, really wet leader, really wet guy. Understandably so. He's in a, he's in a tough spot here, you know? You gotta understand. Next up, we have sweating Kinemon. Kinemon is just dripping wet. I love how sweaty he is in this picture. Um, this is definitely that moment where uh, they talk about the plan and, and Denjiro is like, Kinemon, you're such a genius. And Kinemon is like this. Uh, sweating a little bit of uh, just very wet guy, you know, wet, wet from embarrassment. But apparently Kinemon's a really good leader. I haven't tested any of these cards. I don't know about the metagame at all right now, so don't turn to me for that. But I do like how much negative space is on this card because you can really see some of like the texture gradient in the map. I feel like most alt art leaders that we get, we really don't see that side of the map. So it's really cool to see that composition and the kind of space that was used in this card. They just do such an amazingly good job with them. They're so shiny. Next up, we have Sanji Swan. Now, I gotta say, I absolutely love this picture. I think it's great, but the resolution is trash. And the way that you can really see like where it's cropped out, I just feel like they could have gotten something that maybe had a little higher DPI or redrawn the image or something. I do love the image. I love that it's blue green. I think he's a really strong leader and has a really cool effect. I think it looks really great. And from afar, it looks fantastic. But when you start looking at this thing up close, it's kind of like, you can kind of see like, you know, this is like an image that maybe would have been grabbed off Pinterest or something. So I feel like maybe there could have been a better choice for the resolution or figured out how to get the resolution better because all the other cards look so fantastic. This one just looks kind of like a grabbed drawing a little bit, but I do love the image and you know, Sanji's definitely making somebody sweat in this picture, even though he may not be sweating or crying, but it's uh, really good. Next up, we have Ibankov, one of my favorite leaders. I just love that his entire face takes up the whole frame. There's like no room for anything shiny. This is just like, you know, grab onto the afro and fly out of impel down. That's the feeling that I get here. I've never seen another leader that completely takes up the entirety of the frame of the leap. Like there's nothing shiny except for the border around his face. And it's very fitting because his head is huge. He has a massive, massive head. 
it's a real hee-haw moment here. Um, and apparently this leader is really good. I've seen some deck lists, like some decks have really performed well with Ivankov. So it's a very different play style, but I'm excited to play it and check it out. Regardless, this alternate art leader looks fantastic. And then we got Magellan here. Magellan is kind of, you know, has a little bit of a similar thing going on as Sanji. The resolution is not like amazing, but nonetheless, a good picture. And it kind of looks like he's crying because there's stuff coming out of his eyes. So, you know, the, the suggestion of tears, I think is what we have here. Um, but actually, I don't totally remember what it does. It's the Magellan SR that I'm scared of. I don't want to have to lose Dawn when that thing gets played, but Magellan's a scary character, so it fits, you know? But nonetheless, great looking leader. I think it looks really, fantastic all right this guy's just a nut this z leader is crazy it, you can tell he's about to start sweating with how tight the veins are in his forehead this, this is, he's about to get wet and wild if you watch this man for a couple more minutes there's there are drops that will be emerging from his forehead um no but i think this leader is uh pretty good he like kills something and gains power i think that's like pretty strong there's a lot of cost reducing stuff he is black purple so he has access to both black and purple which are both very scary scary colors and he's a scary scary man you you know, I, I watched this movie and he's uh, he's a pretty freaky guy. I'm, I'm still glad that Chopper saved him though. You know, he was doing the right thing as a doctor. I, I vibe with that. I do, I do, I can get on board with that. But look at those glasses, look how shiny they are. Everything just, they just did such a damn good job with these. And last but not least, we have Smolka. Sweaty, sweaty Smolka. Look how wet this guy is. He is just dripping from the forehead and the cheeks. Um, when I was in Tokyo, I did go to some shops and I saw a lot of people were actually playing with this leader. So I think he is pretty good. I think people like him. I saw more people playing with him than Akainu, which I'm very happy about because I like Smoker a lot better than Akainu. But this is a really cool looking card. I think it's fantastic. I love that he's sweating. I love these wet, drippy men from OP02. It's just, it's such a sweaty, tear jerking set that it's really exciting to see this guy and, and all his cigars. So hope you guys like these as much as I do. But with all those shown, now let's get into the alternate arts from the main set. So this is an SR, this is Whitebeard, and I think this card looks crazy. I think this card looks so wild. I just love how much of the frame he takes up, and then this like, you can totally see the earthquake effect just happening right around his shoulders. It's such a insanely cool looking card. I. I don't think I really liked it as much on reveal, but once I saw this in person, I was just like, dang, yo, this card, this is this is something else. They really, really took it to the next level with the um, laser etching that they did on these cards for this set. They just really play with the light in like a really, really cool way and just look totally, totally awesome. So I'm gonna try and showcase that as much as possible here on these cards. They also aren't all drawn by artists the way that we saw in OP01, right? Like these are actually images from the manga. This is a classic image from the manga here when Ace gets freed, but look at that texture like around the fires to just augment. It really looks like there's like heat coming off his body. This Ace looks so insanely cool. I mean, I, I really, really love this card. I'm very excited to play with this card. I made sure to get enough to play. And I also like that they did some reverse hollow foil, like actually in like his beads and the flames that are around his body and his belt and stuff. It's not something you see as often as when they put the hollow foil actually inside the character. So I think it looks really cool. I think it adds a lot to it and the just the engraving like around and the way that those flames look, I think looks so insanely awesome. Next up, we have the Masked Deuce. Apparently, this is like the cheapest card in the set, but it's a red 2K counter alt art, which I think is pretty awesome. So I'm swooping up a lot of these because I like 2K counters. And if it's an alt art 2K counter, I'm happy with that. I don't really remember what it does, but there's a lot of deuce going on here. Um, it's definitely not as like interesting looking as some of the other alt art leaders, but I think Deuce is a cool character. I liked Ace's story. I don't know if you guys read it, but I think Deuce is a pretty cool, pretty cool character concept. And it's a, it's, it's still pretty card it's definitely not it's definitely good looking it's just you know it's not like like look at this marco this marco is insane if you look at like all the all the texture that's like coming out of him this totally looks like marco's devil fruit the marco's devil fruit is activating as he's flying up to you know kick somebody in the face or whatever it is that he does but it's just so dang cool these the way that the light just plays on these cards is absolutely gorgeous i'm so so psyched about it i'm so excited to look at these cards while i'm playing because you're gonna drop them down and they're gonna you know take turns and angles while you're like putting them onto the mat and just watching them do crazy stuff like this with the light is just such an exciting fun 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 really 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 fun thing to look at so i'm really excited about that i think marco looks 
awesome. Absolutely awesome. This also was drawn by an artist. Nakano Haito was the artist that drew this alternate art. So it's the first alt art that we've seen that's been drawn by an individual artist. Next up, we got Oden Sama. This one also looks wild. Look at all that craziness with the etching. It's just like, it's so Odin, you know, he's just blasting out of the wall. He just, there's a wall and then Odin comes exploding out of it to just slice and dice and deal the kind of damage that you know this man is gonna deal. You know the deal. And the SR of this card, I think looks awesome also but i do really like that they made his sword shiny i think that was a great decision i'm really glad that they did that i do like you know reverse holographic stuff that adds to the holographic effect of what you're seeing here and this one also was drawn by a different artist a separate artist tapioca Tapioca was the artist that drew this Odin alternate art, but really great looking card. You can see he's got like glitter in his hair tie and on the ropes to his thing that he wears. It's just so cool. Such a such a good looking card. I think at this point in every set, we got to have a Nami Swan. If not, we'll better get a Robin Chuan. But this one just looks so good look at that look how cool that texture looks in the background it's it's really really cool concept i didn't i didn't realize like all these outfits were from film red when they were doing the reveals because i hadn't seen film red i was like what is like where are all these movies from but i do like that they used film red i think their outfits look awesome in film red and it's really cool to have some alternate arts with that showcase those outfits and also just have these really really cool like foiling patterns that just that just looks so crazy you know it's so wild there's no angle that you look at this thing where it looks the same it's just constantly changing and it's so pretty and shiny treasures i ho sparkly belt and the sparkly stuff on her arm and her headband it just works really really well i would kind of like it if those rings were sparkly but they, they're shiny at least so there's our nami alternate art and then we got doofy this one is drawn by makitoshi which i think we saw some alt arts in set one from the same artist but this one looks so good the composition on this looks so so good this actually this might have been the same one that drew the law alt art because you really see that the similar kind of perspective and movement and the way that the framing of the character is it's just really really amazingly cool card i think this is such an awesome looking card and it literally looks like his fist is gonna like explode i don't know if you guys saw the movie but this fight scene was so freaking good it was so so dang cool oh man look at that look at this fist it's so cool these cards look insanely good they're so leveled up I, I hope we continue to see this kind of leveling up with all things one piece card game related because these look absolutely gorgeous it looks like hockey coming out of his hand you can really see it moving such a cool looking card next we have ivankov by ebimo this is also a really good looking card. I just, I think I'm, I love Ivankov. I think anything with Ivankov, I'm gonna kind of like it, but I really, really, I mean, I like the regular SR also, but just, they just did such a good job with all these lines and engraving and just making everything look so freaking cool. It's, there's no way you can hold these cards and they don't just look awesome. And the detail, the printing quality, the line work, the, the different things that they did to make them look the way that they look, they just, they're just such absolutely gorgeous cards and the art on them is insanely cool it's insanely insanely amazing and this next one okay so i'm pretty sure that the next one here this is probably my favorite alt art from the set this is by ryuda but look at this one buggy just looks so dang good that like it's so buggy it's such a buggy foiling effect those the lines and it just looks like a carnival coming out of his hand i i love it I think it's so good. The composition is awesome. The fist coming out like that is awesome. It's just, it's such a cool, cool looking card. I'm pretty sure he's like a top one search three kind of thing card also. So really very useful. I think I, I may be saying that wrong. Don't quote me on that, but I can tell you that the texture looks amazing. Like, look at that. It just looks so freaking good. So amazing. It's so cool. And the, the, the proximity of the lines and how they just all play with each other, every time you turn it, it just looks so insanely gorgeous. I love this card. I love this card. And I think this is probably maybe my next favorite alt art in the set. This Luffy looks so cool. It, it, it looks like heat cut rising off of him, which he's so like, he's such a hot boy at this point. You know, he's been poisoned. He's been fighting on the brink of death to save his brother. And he's standing back to back with his brother at this point. And I actually really like if you take the Luffy alt art and the ace alt art, if you take the Luffy and the ace alt art and you hold them back to back, that's kind of like, that's that image, right? That's when they're like, he's like, hey, Luffy, can you still fight? And he's like, yeah. 
up, boy. Let's go. Let's do it. That's like, that's the moment right there. So I've, I've been displaying all these in my binder next to each other like that. But it's just the, the Luffy card looks so good. The texture all over him, like he looks all beat up and scratched up. And there's like this double helix thing kind of like, or this helix shape like happening in the background that shows like the heat kind of like rising off and Tatakai! Oh man, what a moment, what a cool card. And this is the one that's on the front of the box too, so it's a pretty hype card to pull. I think this is a really, really, really cool alt art in this set, I love it. Oh, also, this art is by Akira Egawa, which is the same artist that did the Zoro alt art in set one. So I know a lot of people really love that art and you can kind of see the similarity in the art style of this one and the Zoro from set one. This is Hashimoto Q that did this Sadi-chan, and Hashimoto Q is the one that did Boa Hancock from set one. But this card looks amazing, and it's a purple 2K counter, so it's just screaming value. But I love the the foil like running through her. You kind of can see it here, and like this cool texture in the background. This is also a very powerful card, but all these like triangles, it just it's very uh very got a real SNM vibe. They really they really I think nailed it. Hashimoto Q really nailed the aesthetic with uh with this card here and this card made me some friends in Tokyo I don't know if you guys I'll tell the story at some point so make sure to tune into my weekly uh my weekly videos where I tell stories but I'll be shrimping some OP02 and definitely telling the story about how Sati-chan made me some friends in Tokyo it's, it's pretty funny actually but yeah, really, really good looking card. I think this card looks absolutely amazing. It's so cool. They all just look, they just look so good. Next to Kado, we have Magellan. I pulled a lot of this card, but it's a really good card and it's scary. Uh, this guy just like minuses Dawn from your opponent's side. That's like, he's gonna net neg you to Dawn. That's kind of, kind of crazy. Um, and Magellan's just a scary character, but this one is a little different. There's not, you can see there's some kind of texture stuff going on on the sides here, but it's a lot of this like sparkling effect, this like glitter sort of sparkle stuff with his like Hydra Dragon business. But yeah, I think this card looks really, really cool as well. This is actually the first alt art that I pulled in my first opening video. This was the very first alt art I pulled from the set. And then we got Aokiji, the Aokiji alt art. There's a lot of Aokiji in this set actually, but this one's really cool as well. I love how the rainbow effect kind of happens on the areas that are like ice on his body i think that was a really cool decision to make that all like reverse holographic i really really like when they do that sort of stuff so i'm very happy to see that here in this character and then the rest of the texture just basically looks like ice so i think they kind of hit that nail directly on the head of where the head of the nail is and then we got sakazuki akainu what a schmuck but nonetheless a really good looking card studio vigor co ltd is the one that did the magellan art so I didn't, that's the alt art artist there tatsuya tatsuya is the one that did aokiji which i think we've seen some of tatsuya's work in op01 i can't remember off the top of my head and then anderson is the one that did this akainu alt art i mean look at that fist as much as i hate this guy this card looks really cool it's a really really cool looking card this just looks so you can see like the magma effect in his fist and then there's just like this crazy texture foiling going on in the background of him that the way that the stuff is separated just really highlights parts of this art in a really nice way i think this is an absolutely amazing looking card as much as i dislike this guy the red dog looks really good in this one that fist i just can't get over that it's so cool it's so insanely good looking next up we've got kizaru the yellow birdie up here. You know, I actually kind of like the SR alt better, but then once you see like the texture pattern in this, it's obviously just way cooler. It looks so good. It's such a, they do such a good job with the set. It's insane. But look how pretty that is. It's so, so dang pretty. Such a good looking card. But yeah, I like the perspective of them from the bottom. I feel like more from the top, but I think regardless, good looking card. And this alt art was drawn by Studio Vigor Co as well. So that's two alt arts in this set. All right, next up we have the secrets. So this is the, this is the Aokiji secret drawn by Niji Hayashi. But this is, I think this secret looks really, really cool. I, I low key kind of like this like better than the alt art actually, but the alt art is definitely more complex in terms of its texture foiling and stuff. But I just think this card looks really, really cool. And apparently it's really good. I always feel like paying 10 for something is kind of scary, but apparently this card is very, very strong. So cool looking secret rare. And here is the alternate art for the secret rare. I think this also looks really cool. I like these kind of like lines that are running across the card. Just like, it's just so icy, you know, it's so cold. I Ice cold, nice cold. It just looks like everything's freezing and breaking. And he's got the ice on the half of him. This is after his fight with Akainu, I think. And this one is drawn by Bisai, which I know we saw some by Bisai in set one. I can't remember 
who it was drawn by or what it was, but um, really, really cool looking icy alt art secret. And then we got the regular Utah secret, which I happen to like this a lot. I think like the clear line work on here looks really good. I think it's very cool. It's fun to look at. I like that there's, you know, there's no like thing here. It's just like her name right there. She really takes up the frame nicely and it just looks good compositionally. I think this is a really nice looking card. And Utah is also a really strong card. But here's the Utah alt art, which I had no idea how valuable this card was. I pulled two of these out of one case and I was like bummed out, which makes me look like a scrub. But this card is actually like super valuable. I think it's the second most valuable valuable alt art in the set actually um so very 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 valuable card i really like the regular art but i think this art is also cool i could see how it would be appreciated by the masses and it's drawn by demizu posaka which we haven't seen any art from that person before but it's cool to see the like texture on her wings and you know it's just uh anytime you have an alt art obviously the alt art is going to be more hype than the regular alt art card so it's very very hype very very hype card to pull and very shiny very golden kind of almost looks a little bit like nami from set one in terms of like the way that the background looks from this and we all know how valuable that card is and then last but not least of course we have <laughs> I could not pull this card. I had to pick it up. I got it on Baiyi and you know, I just pulled the trigger. I had to have this. The manga ace is like, there's no way that I could have this set without having this card. And I, I'm opening another case. So there's a chance I might still pull one. I'd be happy to have two of these would be great. But regardless, just, you know, the I love in the manga arts how you can see like when I hold the light right here like the way it changes the way that Ace's face looks in the background when it changes colors I think that's so cool I think like even down here like the one under his arm like as it shifts through the colors when you turn the card it just it looks like a totally different card the card has such a different vibe based on what these different panels are looking like and the colors that are being reflected and then Ace is just such a such a good Ace moment what a good boy miss him so much anyway those are all the alt arts from set 2 op02 paramount war i think it's called honestly i don't even know what the set's called i guess i think it's like war of the best or paramount war or something like that as far as i know it's op02 those are all the alt arts i hope you guys enjoyed checking them out i think they're totally gorgeous i am so excited to see what the future of this game holds i think that we're in for some very very wonderful surprises and by the time i have my other dangly zoro earrings we'll be opening set one of the one piece card game in english so that's really really hype to see that i hope you guys are all as excited as i am to see those cards because i think they're gonna look amazing with english words on them i mean we have seen all of them already but i'm just excited to strip them again because it was such a fun experience and i can't wait to do it Anyway, I'm going to be back in Tokyo in January, having another part of my secret pirate project that I'm going to do, but I'm going to try and get as much content out before that as possible so you guys can see all this fun stuff. I should have 12 weeks of box openings for OP02 from this case I have left over, so we'll do one a week and I'll tell a story, and hopefully we'll heal my whole story of what happened in Tokyo through these One Piece box openings because it was a pretty, pretty wild adventure, and I have so many new friends. Anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and I'm a dentist. I can't forget to do a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip would be, if you have a metal crown and you're gonna have it replaced, have it replaced with ceramic. Ceramic has a closer coefficient of thermal expansion contraction to tooth structure rather than metal, where metal moves and your margin will open eventually, and then that thing can get decay back under there. So if you're gonna get a crown replaced, make sure to do it with ceramic. Ceramic is the way to go. Try and get it in the same day if you can. If you need any recommendations in a certain area, you can hit me up. I'm happy to recommend some friends if I'm far away, or you can come to me to see it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. You need to know that I'm a rider, 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 rider. Tonight we gonna set the street.